Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a pretty plan finale and I'm pretty excited about it because that means there are room for other pretty pants. <laughs> and I have a few coming up so it's a, it's a good strategy to finish one. So this is the Harry Potter and the Cursed Project Pan by the Fantastic Ladies. This is created by my dear friend Amanda and we have done pretty pan every year I think since we created the Fantastic Ladies, so this is really exciting and I'm I'm pretty sure we're doing another one next year and yeah, I'm stoked for that because I'm a Harry Potter freak. I love Harry Potter so much. The thing you can see there, the, the Lego tree triple bus thingy, the purple one. I love Harry Potter. So, we were supposed to pick six items based on six categories and I finished or hit goal on four of them and then I was really really close on two. So let me just go through the empties and the products that yeah that I finished. The first item that I'm going to show you is my MDK by Fall palette and there are two categories in this because I chose two shadows to hit pan on and the first one was a product that inspires you to play and Glitterin's Locket which is something glittery green and I chose Flame was for a product that inspires you and Arctic is, is Glitterin's Locket so as you can see there are pan on these. Last time I repressed this uh, these two bits so i hit pan you know and i tried to make them realistic pans you know i think you get what i mean and i repressed the rest into this small elf eyebrow kit if i have a picture from last time or a screenshot or something i will insert it here so you can see but yeah i finished those i'm excited for that so you can see the staining on the pans. There were quite a bit of product in these and I really, really, really enjoyed working on them. But I'm also very excited not to be working on that green, blue, teal shade anymore. Because just that's just not a go-to shade for me. Even though it was pretty and I really enjoyed it and it was matching an eyeliner that I was working on in another project. But yeah, I finished these two small bit of shadows and I can officially say I have hit pan on Arctic and Flame in this palette which is exciting. Let me know if you want to, me to do an updated version on uh, all the products that I have hit pan on because as you can see there are two more to the video. Something that seems cursed I think or a category that seems cursed um, that never ends and I chose my body lotion stash because I've been working on that stash for so long and I have not bought a body lotion in forever. I have gotten a gift though but I have not bought a body lotion in f years. So I chose a body lotion. Long story short. I have the Yves Rosé Raspberry Peppermint Body Lotion and this was a 200 milliliters bottle so it was not that big and I started up here uh, when the project started and that was my last update and you guys know what I'm all the way down to here. I'm excited. I'm so proud of myself because as you can see I have I've been forgetting this lotion and I'm so close to being done. It is really hard to get product out of the bottle So I think this is going to be done soon. <laughs> I can't see I can't say by next month, but it will be it will be done very soon. So I think this is a successful um, product even though I didn't finish it completely because this is a very very big accomplishment for me in a month. A very big. And I don't know if you can see it. I think I tried to show you last time but it has some glitter in it. Glitter particles. I think you can see. And if you can't, sorry. <laughs> but I actually mixed in the next category or product in the category. It is so um, this is for the Sword of Gryffindor and I chose the silver writing on this as the prompt, you know. So this is the W7 Lives of Beach Beach Body Contour Sculpting Body Cream. This is a gl glittery cream, basically. It has glitter all over it and I didn't use it very much. This is in like two projects and then I put the rest of this 
into the body lotion and I have been really really liking this. When this is done I can say I finished two products in this project but yeah. Um, I'm really excited about the progress so yeah you guys should be proud of me. <laughs> but yeah this is also done so that is three goals hit. I, I, I say this is done even though it's not. It's in here so it's there's no more product in this packaging so I think it's done. I know some might say, say that is cheating, but I don't care. <laughs> it's done for me. I already, I already had it in my empties. So. The next category we have is something... A time turner product, and that is the oldest product in a category. And I chose my L'Oreal Paris uh, Gel Intensa Eyeliner in Pure Black. This small jar right here, glass jar. It is a black eyeliner, gel eyeliner. I will insert a picture from last time so you can see where I was. I have made really really nice progress and I'm really excited about it but I have the smallest bit left of my goal. My goal was to finish half of this product or like so you have half of it left in the jar. Does that make sense? I hope so. This is where I am. Can you see that little bit right there? I created a line through the middle so I knew how much I wanted to finish over here. That is all I have left, that little bit right there. That is so annoying. I was pretty sure I could finish it, but I, I just couldn't. But this is a big accomplishment for me because I don't really... No, I don't really like this product. It, it, the product is fine, but I am not a gel eyeliner and brush type of girl. So, yeah. I really tried my best to finish it up today because I have it in my waterline. I never have anything in my waterline and on my top line and or lashes or something and nope. It just didn't work out so I have the smallest bit left which is a shame but I don't mind. It will go into another product and hopefully I can time it so I don't work on so many eyeliners. The last category is something that is in a part like part one and two. Um, like the last uh, movie and book and stuff like that, you know, Deadly Hallows. Yeah, it could be a double, a double-ended product or a twin product or something. I chose my Dairy 7 lip liner. Yeah, it's a lip liner, but it's called Lip Twister in Champagne because I already have one of these. So uh, I just realized maybe that is cheating because I should have panned the other one. But I finished this today. I was going to reapply my lip um, combo for this video and I finished it. I'm so so excited. As you can see, maybe you can see there are no product left. I can't. No, oh, it's really really hard. I can't do anything about that. So let me show you the progress. I started here first, second update and now I'm done here. So I finished all of that in a month. I'm really excited about it. And yeah, one less lip liner in my collection and I'm really excited about it because I don't want to give any spoilers, but I think I'm going to work on one really soon. So I'm glad to have this out uh, of my routine now so I can focus on the new one. That is everything for this project, video, whatever. I'm so, so excited about this project. I think it was really, really um, successful even though I didn't completely finish or hit goal on all of my items I was really really close and if I just used them a little bit more in the first few months then I would be fine but I just didn't and that is okay I am going to finish them off really really soon so I don't mind at all I hope you are going to check out the Pantastic Ladies if you want to do another collab with us. That is actually starting one tomorrow um, that I am doing. Um, so look out for that. And then I don't think I am starting another project until the end of next month or something. Um, I know, insane. I don't know where I I don't know what I'm doing to myself. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're new here, please subscribe down below. I would love for you to be a part of this small family here. I am doing a lot of potty pants as I just said and empties and pale bingos and stuff like that. So if you have any video ideas for me, please leave them down below in the comments so I can see them and then I might do them. 
yeah check out the fantastic ladies if you haven't already and then i will see you guys in my next video bye or tomorrow <laughs>